how we are in the space, how do we experience it, how we travel in it, how do our behavior or our mood is informed by the space. Um, it changes, you know, completely, and it, our, our personality, personality is completely different in different situations, and it depends on the space. So to me, the space is so important. Uh, so that's why, you know, I completely focus everything to, to make space and experiences. I realized that as the, the bigger my pieces, the more powerful to me, the more the experience is it's more relevant, basically. So I want to go bigger with my paintings and make more like a space experience, basically. I want to have more power over the, the, the spatial experience in the gallery. Like, like the, my past experience, uh, experiences have been that I send my paintings and I kind of have an, I have an idea of how I wanted it to be curated, but it really doesn't ever work the way I wanted it to work. So I feel like now I'm in the place where I want to design absolutely everything that goes in the space and in the experience. So kind of learning right now, you know, how to do that. Sometimes, like for example, here, you know, I have the painting and then on the background, I have another painting that is on canvas. And I want to start playing with this idea of the background of the painting and, and kind of how that background wraps the space. And, and so I want to experiment with that idea, you know, of using painting as a, as a like wallpaper, kind of like taking out the fine art of it and make it, make it more of a, like a joke, because basically that's how now I feel like art, you know, it's, it's hard to, to, to do art because, you know, you have all these pressures of, pressures of selling and making money, you know, and, art now is an accommodation or a decoration, you know, so I kind of want to use that idea of art as a decoration and actually, you know, use it in a space as a, as a, as a funny thing. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to figure this out right now. It's kind of like if you're not a programmer in the future, you're no one, you know, and, and it's, 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 I feel like if I don't know animation, I'm gonna stay behind, you know? If I don't know video, I'm, I, I need to catch up, basically. That's how I feel. And, and I think that we can use all these other things in, in, in our advantage as artists, because, you know, uh, it's, it, it's so much. It's like having a, a bunch of new oil paint or, you know, another new material, uh, when you think about animation and projecting on, on top of a mural, like I can do painting and on top, I can make videos or, you know, whatever. But I, I think that it's, it, it, I just need more time, you know, to keep going. I recently moved to the States and I'm waiting on a permission to work here. So I can't have a job officially in the States. So basically I've been isolated for a year now and just painting at home and uh, going online on YouTube, looking for like lectures on art. And I think that's what I love about like isolating yourself is that you have the time to like learn all these things, you know, like going online and watching a two hour lecture on Jerry Saltz, you know, on what's good art, what's bad art, you know, I would have never had time to do all of these things if not for being isolated, you know, and I love it. I have time to pause a video, take notes, keep thinking, you know, I, I think that the isolation is incredible for artists. I think every artist should get isolated for at least a year or something because it's so necessary. You can, you need to stop listening to the rest of the world for like a little while and kind of like reflect on yourself to know how to move forward, you know. So I have a funny story about my mom. So the first big like piece that I made that was emotional, you know, 
my mom stole it and got rid of. <laughs> Super sad story. Like, I wish I would have that painting. It was a very emotional painting about myself, kind of being depressed, you know, and kind of knowing what depression was, you know, as, as a very young kid, like 17 or something. So I think my mom was very scared of the, you know, the feeling of it. So she got rid of it. Yeah, that's it, basically. <laughs>